I gotta show you this brand new feature Microsoft is introducing to Microsoft Excel. You can now insert individual checkboxes within an Excel worksheet right into the cells. With these checkboxes, you can run calculations on them, check to see if they're checked or not. You can apply conditional formatting to them. You can create interactive charts. There's so many different features and scenarios where you can use these checkboxes. So let's jump in and take a look. So check this out. Open in front of you, I got an example file that I've already using the checkbox feature and I've got some other scenarios that are taking advantage of those checkboxes. Take a look at this. So inside of this workbook, I've got a simple little list, nothing big. It's got country column, a numeric value column, and then one called active. And this is where the checkboxes come into play. These checkboxes can be found by going to your insert tab, top of your screen, and towards the right, you got a section called cell controls where you got checkbox. Now, this is a relatively new feature inside of Microsoft Excel. I'm a part of the Office beta users, so I got early access to this feature. If you don't see it inside of your copy of Microsoft Excel just yet, it'll be there soon. Microsoft is rolling this out. So, not there yet, it'll be there soon. If it's there, great. All right, so take a look at what these things can do. One, they're just interactive checkboxes. So I can go in here and I can check a box, I can uncheck them, whatever I need to do. Whether this is a list for whether or not they're active, or maybe you're creating a timesheet, a schedule, a to-do list, we've now got these interactive checkboxes. But if we look closer, there's a few other things happening here as I interact with these checkboxes. One, when I place a check in it, I'm getting some conditional formatting that's taking place. So if it's checked, the text turns white, the background turns green. If I uncheck it, it goes back to the default black text, white background. Also, as I check and uncheck the boxes, I've got a formula here that's utilizing the count if function. And all it's doing is counting that range, this range right here, to see whether or not it's equal to true. If it is, it counts it. And that's really all check boxes are. It's a true false value. If it's checked, true. If it's not checked, false. The next thing that's happening here, I've got this nice interactive chart. So as I activate or deactivate specific countries, my chart will update to show me those countries and their numeric values. So we're gonna take a look at how you can set up each of these scenarios using this new feature, check boxes. Check this out. This file right here, it's called checkbox-01. I've made it available so you can download it and you can open it up and follow along with me. You'll find the download link in the description of this video, just down below this video. Look for the Office New Blog link and you'll find a link there to download the file so you can follow along with me. So our first step here is to add the checkboxes and we're gonna see just how easy this is to do. We've already got the country column, we got that numeric value column, and now I've gotta insert the checkboxes for whether or not they're active. So my first step is I'm gonna highlight all the cells, in this case D3 to D10, where I wanna place the checkboxes. With that highlighted, I'll go to my Insert tab, top of my screen Insert, and towards the right, I've got a section called Cell Controls with Checkbox. Now I just wanna point out, this is a relatively new feature that Microsoft is rolling out. I'm a part of the Office Beta Users Group, so I get early access to these updates. So if you open up your copy of Excel, go to Insert, and you don't see Checkbox just yet, it'll be there soon. Okay, as you get your software updated and Microsoft rolls it out to everyone, you will get access to it as well. So not there, don't worry about it. If it's there, great, you're gonna love it. So with that highlighted, I'll go to insert checkbox, and now I've got all my checkboxes. And just by itself, just this right here, we now have these interactive checkboxes inside of individual cells within our Excel worksheet. So whether you're creating 
active or non-active or discontinued or in production or maybe a schedule or an attendance sheet, whatever it might be, we've now got these simple interactive checkboxes. Select the cell, insert checkbox, you've got your checkbox. Now the next thing I want to do here is the checkboxes all by themselves, they're super cool, right? Interactive, check on check, check on check, so on. But I want to introduce some other features and other scenarios that you might have within this data and connect those to the checkboxes. Well, what about formatting? I want to say if the box is checked, then I want the country and the number column to highlight. Conditional formatting based on the check. Now the checkbox is interpreted one of two ways. It's value. It's either true, meaning it's checked, or it's false, it's unchecked. It's a Boolean value. Take a look. If I select a cell that contains a checkbox that is checked, at the top in the formula bar, you'll see true. If I select a cell that is unchecked, what do we get? We get false. So now we can use those two values, true or false, within things like conditional formatting, formulas, and other scenarios. Let's take a look at some conditional formatting. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight the country and the number column, B3 to C10. That's the range that I wanna conditionally format based on whether or not the active column is true or checked. With that highlighted, I'm gonna to go to my Home tab. On the Home tab, I'll go into the Styles section, Conditional Formatting, and I'm gonna do New Rule. So inside of the New Formatting Rule window, I'm gonna use the Use a Formula to Determine option. And then for my formula, I'm just gonna say, if this cell right here equals true, that's it. Then I'm gonna to go to my format button here and I'm gonna apply some formatting. I'll say if it's if it's true, I'm gonna say fill's gonna be green. I'll do the font, we'll say the color is gonna be white. I'll make it bold and I think that sounds good. Now there's one more thing I need to do to the formula. Right now it's only checking if D3 is equal to true. You look closely there at that cell reference, we have dollar signs in there. So right now it's dollar sign D, the column's absolute, dollar sign three, the row is absolute. So cell D3 is absolute. It'll always look at that cell. Well, I need this to happen for each row, right? So I wanna do D3, but then I wanna check D4, then I wanna check D5, and so on. So I need that row to update. So I'm gonna take the dollar sign away from the row so it'll just be dollar sign D3 equals true. All right, let's try it out. I'll hit okay, and there we have it. If it's checked, it's formatted. If it's unchecked, it goes back to the defaults. Conditional formatting using the checkboxes, the true false values. Now remember, the checkboxes, they're just true and false values. If it's checked, it's true. If it's not checked, it's false. Now, something else we can do here is apply formulas on those values. In this case, I want to take cell D12 and I want to get a count of how many countries are active. Well, inside of Excel, we've got a function called count if. I want to count this range right here if it's equal to true. So the count if takes two arguments, the range. So I'm gonna grab that D3 to D10 range. That's where I wanna count, comma. Then it wants to know, what do you wanna count? It wants to know the criteria. So in this case, I just wanna count the values that are true. And that's it. I'll hit my enter key. And now I've got my total count. If it's checked, it counts it. If it's unchecked, it removes it from the count. So just count if this range, if it's equal to true. So the next scenario that I wanna do here is create a chart based off of this table, but I want the chart to only show me the data that's active. 
If the country is checked, it's active, show that in the chart. If it's not, don't show it. This is gonna be a bit involved. There's many different ways to accomplish this. This is just one method, and I'm gonna utilize name ranges and a formula, specifically using the filter function to accomplish this. Take a look. So my first step is I'm gonna create the chart just using the raw data that we have here. So B2 to C10. With that highlighted, I'll go to insert. I'm gonna create just a standard 2D pie chart. There we go. I'm gonna resize it here, place it on my worksheet, make it easy to view. I don't need the title, so I'm gonna delete that. So this is pretty slick, but right now it's showing off all the data, right? Every country, every numeric value, regardless if it's checked or not. So we need to modify the chart source to only look at the data that's checked. So first, let's take a look at what the chart's pulling. I'm gonna right click the chart, I'm going to go to select data and inside the select data source, we can see that the legend entries or the series data, everything that's being plotted out here on the chart is pulling from the num column. If I select edit here, we can see that it's getting the series name from cell C2, which is great. And it's pulling the actual values from C3 to C10. Okay, cool. But that's all the data. I don't want all the data. Let's take a look at the next one. If I go into the horizontal category access, which is all of our country names here, I'll go to edit, and we can see it's pulling from B3 to B10, all of the countries. So we need to modify those two things, the values, where it's actually pulling the values from, and the country names. So like I said, there's many different ways to do this, but I'm gonna utilize name ranges and then put those name ranges into the data source. Each name range, there's gonna be two of them, is gonna use the filter function to pull just the specific values, if it's checked, and just the specific countries, if it's checked. So take a look. To create a name range, I'll go to my formulas tab. Now you can see that all my stuff up there, all my features are currently grayed out. It's because I have the chart selected. So if I click into just some cell, somewhere out there on the worksheet, they'll become active again. So again, formulas, go to name manager, currently none in there, so I'm gonna create a new one. Inside the new name window, first I'll give it a name. I'm gonna call this country num. So this one's gonna grab the numeric values if the active box is checked. So inside the refers to, I don't want it to refer to a specific cell, but I'm gonna use a formula. Here, I'm gonna use filter. If you haven't used the filter function, it is so cool. But it allows you to filter a range based on a condition or criteria. So here, I'm gonna say, I wanna filter this range right here, C C3 to C10, comma, if this range right here, D3 to D10, equals true. Let me expand that window there. That's my formula. Filter the C3 to C10 range right here if the D3 to D10 range is equal to true. So I'll hit OK. We got our first one in there, country num. So I'm going to create one more. I'll go to new. We'll call this one country names. Same thing. I don't want to reference a specific cell, but I'm going to use the filter function and say, I want to filter this range right here, B3 to B10, comma, if this range is equal to true. And that's it. I'll hit OK. I've got my two name ranges, country names and country num. Make sure you remember those. I'm gonna close out of this window. So now I need to modify the chart to use those new names. I'll right click the chart, select data. So first one, num, I'll select that, edit. And instead of this specific range, C3 to C10, I want it to grab country num. I'll hit okay. All right, that's the first one. So now I'll go to edit for the axis labels. And again, instead of that range, 
we'll bring in the name range country names i'll hit okay hit okay and now we've got this super slick interactive chart with the check boxes we can see right now canada brazil france is checked they are active and that's what's showing up inside of my chart if i turn on mexico mexico now shows up in there here's argentina i'll take away canada and now we've created this interactive chart utilizing name ranges a filter function and the check boxes make sure you try this one out it's a bit more involved there's a few more steps in there you can rewind you can pause the video look at the formulas if you haven't used the filter function before i highly recommend it but try this out so what do you think check boxes inside of an excel worksheet directly into the cells quick easy check check it it's true uncheck it it's false apply calculations conditional formatting interactive charts and so many other things applied to whether a box is checked or not make sure you try this out download the file remember go down to the description look for the office new blog link and you can download the file from there and while you're down there if you've enjoyed this video you've learned something new make sure you give me a thumbs up let me know and if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can get updates about new videos that we upload to this channel right here so until the next video i hope you have fun with excel checkboxes and create your interactive dynamic content try it out